making. Now, as she's making it into two stacks, one of 43 and one of 89. So, I kind of feel like, why not just go all in? If she's definitely calling a re-raise... Maybe fact, she's trying to do something psychological here against her opponents. Yeah, she's trying to say to them, this is what I've got you covered with, this is how much I've got you covered with. <laughs> yeah, and y you can see Katie has uh, has oh, made yeah. what would what's it, it happens to be, I mean, she's in great shape, but it's the kind of call you can only make if you recognize that your opponent uh, is, is is very loose, which, which Pippa is. I, I think Pippa might have wished she'd folded at this stage. <laughs> at this stage, she definitely does. <laughs> but you know what I mean in that... Yeah. She I mean, it's 43,000. She can afford it. She thought she can take a player out. 8-9 of diamonds. It's a drawing hand. Queen High's going to win it. So, uh, yeah. Katie doubles through. Look at relief. <laughs> I feel like we've got four women here, all of whom are going to be a credit to this final we table. You came in here thinking you were going to be picking up some tips. Now <laughs> you must just be terrified now. <laughs> I'm, I'm just scared now. You have to play it. one of these ladies. Small in. Small in. Although I think you're going to do fine. Absolutely cool. fine. Cool. That'll be good fun. When you watch, you almost want to be playing as a poker player. Better, better than last. This pot was automatic. <laughs> this was always going to happen. Uh, King Jack is big forehanded. Once Lynn's made that opening raise, Katie's obviously oh. sticking her chips in, and <laughs> Lynn, Lynn can't fold. You know, nope, just she can't don't. fold. She's committed. Unfortunately, she's dominated. She's going to need to find a king or some running hearts. Katie could get all her chips back here if the king don't come. If the king don't come, this is going to become very tight four ways. Yeah, it's going to even it up. Lynn isn't going to like to lose this pot. <laughs> and the spades don't really matter because... Uh, the Spade will give it to um, Katie with the nut flush. It's just... Do you know a two as well for Katie? Lynn, Lynn can only... Well, well, just the king, really. Hit the king, it doesn't come. Nice hand. A king <laughs> yeah, Lynn's thinking that's no fun. I actually made the second nut flush and I'm still losing. <laughs> yeah. But, um, wow. Talk about the dynamics. And look at Katie, she's been through the ringer. Welcome back to the Party Poker Women's World Open 2. I'm all in. Wow, that's a, that's a big bet. Now that's a as Phil Helmuth would say, that's a bean pole bet. Plus. And I Plus. can understand it with seven, I'll but call. she's Four. getting called. It's a race. Um. I, I mean, it, it, it felt like a really big Why? bet, but Katie must have been thinking, you know, listen, if I stick some in, I'm definitely calling a re-raise. Yes. I don't want to give somebody <laughs> the, the initiative to, to oh, think they're going to make me fold. Yeah, she doesn't want another decision. She's got a pair. It's oh, a medium so pair. <laughs> She's happy to get the chips in. <laughs> and yet, how does she feel now? 375,000 in this pot. I think there's maybe 2,000 between these players. This is, is, this, is this a pot for victory? This could very well be a pot for victory, and it's certainly, it's certainly going to be too much damage to one of these players. And no ace or king wow. on the flop, but I think Pippa may have gone favorite here. She has. I think she has gone favorite. She's got an ace or king or any club. What is Katie thinking about? Red deuces? Oh, Red three threes? That's made her the favorite now, but it's about fading the river. Pippa trying to will it in. It's a ten. Unlucky. Pippa has missed. Well, and that was out. <laughs> that was a fine line there. <laughs> wow. It almost feels too quick, doesn't it? It does, and it's it's a shame to see Pippa go. I mean, uh, she has played some exciting poker this evening. Just now, space at the table, half full, three ways. But is there breathing room for Kyla and Lynn Beaumont? Yes, huge chip leader now, Katie Hearn. The pressure's off for the moment. And these blinds are really so big. 7 and 15. A quick call from Katie. This is exactly what she had in mind. 
feels like it could be the end of the road for Kyla and uh, unfair to run into something bigger than King <laughs> Jack, really. Yeah, this was always going to be a bloodbath. King Jack versus Ace Queen three ways. It's unfortunate for Kyla, but she's come back from worse. And 41%, you know, definitely on the door knocking. Not a good flop. Wow, percentage for a split pot's gone up to 8% because we've got three clubs. Some straight draws going on there. Yes, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh. Just six outs. Three kings and three jacks. That's what she's praying for. Oh, she hit it, it on the river. <laughs> and uh, we have seen <laughs> so much of this tonight, you know. And uh, I, I think it's, it's, it's been about... We are ending game. It's been about everybody trying to win so hard, if you know what I mean. It's like <laughs> Still getting out of control. These ladies are thinking, this girl just won't lay down. Yeah. What do we have to do? Well, it's 3-2-1 now, vaguely, as far as the chips go. And the blinds are going up to 10 and 20. Yeah, this is going to start to sting for these ladies now. I wonder, you know, who this blind change now suits the most and suits the least. I mean, obviously it's going to be very expensive for Lynn, but at the same time, there's more chips out there to win. She could get caught up in a hurry. Yeah, I think it also takes some of the difficult decisions away from Lynn. She knows, you know, she's got six big blinds. She's all in or all out now. Yeah. Felt. Ooh, and this is... You know, it's, it's marginal for Katie because it's like... It's automatic if you have to get your chips in oh. first. When you get them in second... So <laughs> <laughs> oh, go home. <laughs> it's, uh, it's horrible when you're in the situation. Okay, you're just right. not Mom, sure just what to do. It is. I mean, sh she knows if she's ahead, she's not that far ahead. She also knows that Lynn was moving here with a lot of hands. She also knows Lynn hasn't exactly been moving with nothing. Yeah. What are the chances she's in bad shape? What are the chances she's in good shape? And what are the chances she's in great shape? I think you have to say to yourself, I'm unlucky if she's got an ace. It's unlikely for two aces to be dealt here. But at the same time, even if she doesn't have an ace, it's going to be very close. And it's going to hurt me if I lose. Will Katie find better opportunities to win? It was 98. Eight. If she um, folds here. I, I, on, on the balance, it feels like she I have to take this on, right? Blinds 10 and 20. I don't know. What do you? What would you do? With A7 in her situation, it's such a nasty situation. I think, you know, I'm probably going to call, but it could be I'm a bit kamikaze. I think better playing the short stack. I'm going to call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that reasoning. It's, um, you know, she is ahead here. and uh, But as you can see by the percentages, it's more about who the deck is favoring. The only good news for Katie, of course, she's got basically an average stack back, and I think that's probably what swayed her decision. Lynn's, yeah. Lynn's needing help. Yeah, that didn't help her very much at all, that flop. Katie looks like the one who's behind in this pot, but it's... Well, it's that's changed things slightly. It's given Lynn maximum outs, hasn't it? Yeah. Any club, any king, any six, any seven. There's nine clubs in the deck. Any king, any six. Yeah, it's 15 oh outs. Oh, <laughs> it's a and it, Yeah, it is. It's the flush. It's go oh. You know, the, the deck is loving the underdogs at the moment, Jesse. Crack open the beano and we'll be well away. This is starting to involve, a certain, excuse me, evolve into the kind of game that leaves permanent learning. scars, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, three years <laughs> yeah. from now, one of these ladies is going to wake up in the middle of the night screaming. This is such a tough decision for Kalmar. She wanted to be the one to go all in here. Yeah, she can't get her chips in second with that, can she? No. Oh, look at this. Yes, she can. And this, this is a really big oh. situation here. Beaumont's a strong favorite. This, I think, might be one of the first times that Katie's got all in with the worst of it. There was one that she won earlier. But most of the time, she has, she has the goods. 
This time I she's behind. It's almost as funny. <laughs> <laughs> going around. 